Hey guys, ECRG here, back with another video. Today I've got something really, really special that has come across my attention. Actually, one of the clients who reached out for me to review their resume via the resume review program said that they were applying to this program that I'm going to share with you today. It is a Johns Hopkins Study Coordinator Apprenticeship and Mentorship Program through the legendary Johns Hopkins University based in, I think it's Maryland, no, Baltimore, Baltimore, um, uh, on the East Coast. Uh, but it's a great program, and you know this, this client reached out and was interested in applying for this program, so we actually did a resume based on their application for this program. So we do do that as well. If you're interested in applying to this program, you can reach out to us and we can work on your resume doing that. Or as always, as most of you guys know, we can do your resume for you know regular clinical research jobs, study coordinator, clinical trial assistant, project manager, CRA, et cetera, et cetera. We work on all resumes to get into clinical research, but this particular one was interested in this program. So this was the first time actually even hearing about it, and I wanted to share it with you all because I'm sure not a lot of you guys knew that there were even these programs out there. Of course, you've heard of the you know clinical research program through uh, the clinical trials guru over there shout out to dan and i'm sure you know there are other ones that you may have heard of you know apprenticeships or like internships through some of the companies i know i've talked about a couple of them um through some of the larger companies like iqvia or like asinios health they'll have internships throughout the summer but this is a long program it's a two-year program so it's a study coordinator apprenticeship and mentoring program it's called and it's a two-year program that trains inexperienced individuals to become study coordinators through the hands-on experience by working on actual studies. So, you know, I'm just kind of reading off this intro part, but you know, it says the program consists of several components, an educational component, a resource component, and a staff networking component. The program is intended for recent college graduates with limited clinical research experience, or for those who have healthcare, or clinical experience and are interested in research coordination. So it sounds like this is open to people that are have no experience right out of college and people that do have some experience but are wanting to make the transition to be a study coordinator. So it's a great program for that. Um, let's delve in a little bit deeper. It says the education program provides the study coordinator apprentices with a structured training program utilizing the ICTR's educational programs uh, clinical infrastructure and expert consultative resources. The majority of the training is done during the first three months of the program. During this time, the apprentices do a mixture of classroom work, guided mentoring, and hands-on training. Um, so I'm not going to read all of this stuff, but... So it sounds like you get a lot of stuff here. I mean, they complete GCP training. They complete, you know, through city, which is very common. Um, they do Department of Transport, International Air Transport Association, and phlebotomy courses. And in addition, they will be acquiring the Science of Clinical Investigation Certificate through the School of Public Health. So, very robust program. Also, it looks like you're going to get, it says, upon completion of the program, apprentices take the CCRP certification through the Society of Clinical Research Associates. And then after obtaining the CCRP, they are eligible to apply for senior research coordinator positions at Johns Hopkins or can transition into the float pool of research coordinators in the research coordinator support service offered through the ICTR. Um, wow. So this is a solid program. If they're letting you take and sit for the CCRP, that is excellent because I've heard from people that that is a hard exam. That is very tough to pass and takes a lot of um, you know, experience and as well as book learning to be able to pass that. So that is awesome that they're letting people sit for that. And you're gonna be extremely well qualified after that. I mean, it's essentially like getting two years experience and you know that's gonna do wonders for applying for jobs. And they're letting you apply in as a senior research coordinator, which is pretty high up there. Um, that's probably like one of the top coordinator positions you can get, um, you know, just after two years. So this is a solid program. 
Very, very solid program and would definitely recommend you guys check it out if you're interested in it. Um, so as you can see, the link is here. It's it's on Johns Hopkins. And I, if I remember, I'll put the link in the description down below. Um, but there's something else I saw here. Oh, the hands-on training will be acquired through work at the clinical rotations unit, shadowing experience coordinators and being on work assignments. So for my thought process, it sounds like it's going to be, you know, start off in the classroom for the first three months. They're going to te teach you basics of clinical research. You're probably going to do your GCP training, your phlebotomy training, all that good stuff. And then you're going to shadow for the, like the next part. And then you're actually going to get studies and work the next year and some change or something. And that's probably how they're paying for this program is, you know, you're going to work, work the studies after the fact. So let's see if there's any more info here. Um, I think that's it. So basically they've got a lecture detailing the program. Let's see what we got here. If we click that, what is this research coordinator support service? Um, so basically the program has created a pool of study coordinators who are available to be hired on a part-time basis by Johns Hopkins faculty and staff. These apprentices are available on a free and low cost basis, which makes the process of finding a part-time coordinator easier, as well as provides junior faculty with smaller projects or even seasoned investigators with pilot studies, study coordinator support. So, wow, wow. So it sounds like, yeah, it's, it's, it's a win, win, win all around. So it sounds like, you know, you get, you get the benefit of the doubt by getting that training in the beginning. And then it, the sites of the Johns Hopkins is able to pay it off by you working, um, you know, at a lower cost through the rest of it. And that kind of pays off your time in the program. And then after you graduate from this program, you are going to be a senior clinical study, uh, a senior study coordinator, a senior study coordinator, either at Johns Hopkins where they may offer you a job or elsewhere. And of course, that Johns Hopkins is going to look really good on your resume because it's Johns Hopkins. So that's awesome. And obviously, you're going to be able to sit for that CCRP, which is going to be excellent, too, which is hard to come by. And that's a certification you can have on your resume for many, many years. I'm not really sure if you've got to you know, retake it at some point, but I know it's a, it's a solid one. A lot of people high up in clinical have that CCRP, like senior CRAs, some have it, or people like lead CRAs or CTLs have it. So that's solid. And I'm sure there's some more programs out there. So if you know about more programs and you listen to either the podcast or the channel, let, it, let us know. Email us about these programs and We'll let the community know about it and our listeners know about it. And if you're interested in getting your resume reviewed to apply for this, or if there's any kind of uh, interview you got to do, we will do. We do interview prep also. So if you're interested in that, you can email us eliteclinicalgroup at gmail.com or call or text me at 910-502-3732. So I think that's it for this program. Um... Yeah, I think that's it, guys. So I thought at least got one page here. So I thought there was a little more. But look out for these programs, guys. All right, take care.